Hey guys, welcome back to yet another video. Just wanted to give a little bit of an update. We are almost one week into the league. I am having a great time. I took the entire week up. I've been playing pretty much non-stop. I've been having such a good time, honestly. Like, this league is great. I think uh, league mechanic is fun. There's a lot of things going on. And I just wanted to give a week one update. What have I been doing? What are the contents that I have been doing? That sort of stuff. So I guess uh, we'll just start with the build. The build is the Toxic Rain Ballista build from Velstron. Great build, great starter, still playing it. I've got most of the pieces down. The only thing I have not been able to find is the Wilma's Requital, the helmet. I have been chance orbing probably 500 plus Solaris circlets right now because I'm playing Solar Cell Found and haven't been able to get it. Also, it hasn't shown up, but it's all right. In terms of gear, I got my quill rain, so that's pretty good. I got the lightning coil, six linked. I even found an awakened vicious projectile support from doing a bunch of maven. Um, I got these probably need some changing at some point as well, but they're not bad. Some belt, boots, pretty much fine. Quiver with damage over time multi. And I crafted this pretty amazing amulet, which has a plus one all skill and plus one all chaos skill. So this gives me plus two to toxic rain. And then my actual toxic rain is a 2120. I also made that happen today. So my Toxic Rain is currently level 23, which is pretty good. I linked it with uh, Ballista Totem, of course, Void Manipulation, Awakened Vicious Projectiles, level 5, Efficacy, and Life Tap. Um, I deviated a little bit from the build of Belstrom, but not much. In my other links, I got more Life Tap, but then uh, together with an Ensnaring Arrow, this makes it that enemies take increased projectile damage and also you ensnare them, I think slowing them. So that's good. Uh, with Mirage Archer, Culling Strike and Crater Multiple Projectiles. Uh, Belstron has Blind in here as well, Blind Support. I could try and, and six link this, but then I have no real... Um, yeah, I, I don't really have like anything for Blood Rage, so... Yeah, not entirely sure what to do with that. I'm not missing it very much. And then I have a defensive cast with damage taken with once again life tap immortal call increased duration. And my auras with an enlighten, which I also found. A petrified blood, haste and malevolence. That means I got 23 mana left currently. And yeah, and that's the that's the setup, and then more stuff all attached to flame to life tap because I have no mana, uh, frenzy, life tap support, flame dash, and despair. So that's the that's the build. If I uh, open up my character level, I am level 97, which is pretty good, I would say. Um, defenses all fixed. Um, even got 35% chaos res. I am immune to bleeding. I'm immune to corrupted blood. Uh, chill and freeze avoidance 110% from the tattoos. Movement speed not too bad. Shock, I'm not shock immune. That's, you know, a bit of a thing, but it's not the end of the world, I don't think. So, yeah, that's uh, where we're at with the character. I can show you a little bit the Skill tree over here, it is mostly following the build guide, but I've made a few like smaller changes. Um, I have tattoos all over the place, as you can see. I don't think I got a single attribute node that is still available. It is all uh, tattoos that I put over here. And it's a combination of stuff, right? I have uh, elemental resistances, chaos res, Life recovery from flask. I could put something else on there if I want to. Then the the chill and freeze avoidance is coming from my tattoo. So that's uh, seven of them. More chaos res over here. 
old res. I got I got some stuff, right? Old res. More life recovery. Reservation. I needed that for the for the auras. More chaos res. Spell suppress. I have some global accuracy, which is not too bad. I just put random stuff on here. Uh, attributes. More alley res. Life recovery. Avoid being chilled. Non-curse aura effect, spell suppress. Oh, here, I got a strength one that's still available. That's one of the few ones. Chaos res, alley res, global defenses. Not too sure about those. Might replace that. So, yeah, this is what the skill tree looks like. I have um, got Farsight on my amulet as an anointment. That's pretty good. So I've deviated a little bit. I've got the chance to suppress spell damages. Lucky. Um, I might actually not need that now come to think of it. Yeah, okay, I got 94. So if I get one more spell suppress chance, I, I would rather just take like a 5 node over here. Or you take an anointment, but I'm okay with that. So 94 and then lucky. It rolls, it rolls twice. So the chances of not suppressing spell damage here are then incredibly low, right? Um, so I'll take it. Attributes still look okay. And um, yeah, that's the tree I think that I wanted to show you. So character, tree. I will go over the, uh, the atlas. Uh, got 114 out of 115. Pretty close. The only thing I'm missing is this one, the Twilight Temple. The new change that GGG has done, where the reports don't give you unique maps anymore, has hurt me quite a bit. So, normally a week into the league, I would definitely have my uh, 115 map completion. I just don't at the moment. It's just not there. And, yeah, it's okay. I understand the change. I think it was a little bit too easy. But, uh, yeah, I still need to get this temple somehow there are divination cards for it which i sometimes drop and this thing just drops randomly but it's rare so that's the only one i haven't done yet you can see i've unlocked most of the favored uh, slots i don't have the cortex just yet simply because it didn't drop so couldn't run it and of course i haven't completed the feared which Makes a lot of sense. There are not that many starter builds that can complete the feared in solo cell phones, right? Although by now I am reaching a point, I think especially should I find the helmet that I need, that um, it's probably enough. Right? There's a if I get six totems, I can probably clear the feared. But it also requires quite a bit of setup. I got my four watchstones, so I did manage to do Uber Elder. I killed Maven, um, and then of course the Searing Exarch and the Eater of Worlds. So that is all taken care of. And then I think the last part that I wanted to show is my Atlas tree. My Atlas tree is pretty much as I expected it to be. It is uh, completely sort of specced into fun. and. I think I will make a, like a separate small video about why I have been uh, choosing all of this. You can have a look and take a screenshot if you want to do this. But the whole idea of this atlas, uh, of this passive atlas tree, is just to get as many monsters in the map and as many quantity and as many map modifiers on your maps as possible. Bunch of free crafts, and then just go to town on the uh, the atlas crafting device. And I've been having a blast, honestly, with this. So, yeah, I would recommend. But I'll make a small separate video going much more into the details of this entire uh, passive tree. And why I think it's, uh, it's good. So that is mostly my little update. I could show you a small map so you see a little bit what it's like. I will turn down the audio then because... You know, it's going to be insane, I think, otherwise. So I can run like a regular map. I can show you a little bit what I do. Let's do a, let's do a normal map here, like a city square. 
more life, stun, life is extra. Okay, that's completely fine. So normally I would do... Well, I would use it up significantly more, but I don't. I do use Fortune Favors to Brave, normally speaking, but that works with Choose. So let's pick uh, Domination for some Shrines. And you can see a little bit what the build is like. I will say though that it is complete... Um, well you, well, you don't see shit, right? That's the, that's the build. Like, it's toxic rain. You, you absolutely don't see shit. So, you gotta... You gotta be wary of that. I do read these shrines, actually. So, you don't want to be targeted by a meteor. That's one thing, that's for sure. But, yeah, you can see damage is high. I have eternal uh, delirium, by the way. Actually, looking for the boss. Yeah, here are the bosses. Normally speaking, here are the bosses. I'm trying to kill the bosses first. Because then the remaining altars will only be... Regular monsters and, you know, the buffs. The sort of overall quantity quality buffs. It's not necessarily a boss killer. I think also with the delirium in the background they do become quite tanky. But that's it. Yeah, and then you just clear the rest of the map, right? So you get quite a bit of monsters already. This is not even, not even with like a scarab or something like that. I normally would put in scarabs. And then you get much more out of your map as well. Now, and then of course the shrines. Those are mostly fun. Oh, this is the this is one of the best shrines. The spell echo one. It completely demolishes everything. You want to get rid of the brutal shrine. You can get rid of a shrine by by right clicking the buff. Because the the brutal shrine does knockback. We don't want any like knockback. There's there's no reason for knockback. You want these guys to stay in your poison. Or uh, it's not poison in your in your chaos damage over time. See here are my Solaris circlets, right? Which I change orb. Yeah, and I'm just hitting as many delirium as I can. You might get something good out of these things, right? But this is one of the adjustments that I made. Like, endless delirium. That's great. It just never dissipates. You don't have to worry about it. You hit the mirror and you go. So many additional monsters that you're getting from this. And I, I just love killing monsters in maps, right? I think that's what these games are about, typically speaking, so... And by now, even though I'm in solo self I'm pretty strict loot filter because I'm a week in and I found most of my gear. Like, there's not a rare gun. There's not going to be that many rares that are still an upgrade for me. And so I've basically turned down most of the loot. And I'm fishing for uh, some specific uniques, some, some div cards. Some other things that I still might require or yeah something like that and I, I think I'm slowly trying to fig figure out like what the next build is going to be but this is uh, what a map is like am I missing something here I don't think so no I'm at uh, 44 monsters remaining so I missed a small patch somewhere But it's, it's not by much, right? 39 monsters. So that's a map. And then I do this at the end of the map and I always miss, right? But in theory, I, I've chanced it into one unique, but... Yeah, the Solar Circlet can turn into five different uniques, so... Not amazing. But this is the week one update, guys, on the build. I hope you enjoyed. 
and um, I wish you all the best. Hopefully you have a good league start as well. I will make a separate video about the Atlas Passive Tree and of course I will make a separate video about the new league mechanic which has been buffed and updated quite a bit. So yeah, that's uh, going to be it for now I think. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, talk to you later, guys. Bye-bye.